Hi, I'm Rachel from East Coast Crates, and I have a folding 500 East Coast crate, and I want to show you how to open it and fold it. Um, this happens to be my crate. It's 12 years old. It's been around the world several times. It has a lot of air miles on it, but it still looks great and it works great. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. There are going to be three link locks that hold the crate folded. So you're going to open up the link lock and then you're going to shorten it. Twist it open and then shorten it. And the same thing on the other side. And what that's going to do is it's going to release it so you can just pop it open. Now, you can use a dime or a penny, but I like a little stubby screwdriver. These are called Zeus fasteners and you just twist them a quarter turn to the right comes with side rails which are an airline requirement. So you've got two side rails and a rear spacer bar. And they go on with the same type of Zeus fasteners that I just showed you. Now these are not spring loaded like the other ones. Now the side rails are just, an, these spacer bars are just an airline requirement. They have nothing to do. If you're not flying your crate, you don't have to use these at all. Just know that you have them for the time when you want to fly your crate. We talked about on the other video what makes a crate airline compliant and the folding crates um, have to have extra holes and nuts and bolts added. They have to have metal nuts and bolts because these link locks and twist ties, twist locks are just to hold the crate folded. They're not part of the structure of the crate. And these Zeus fasteners will hold the crate open, but the airline wants to see metal nuts and bolts. So what you have to do is drill a few extra holes. So when you get your folding crate from East Coast Crates, you're going to get an airline package. You're going to get the airline side spacer bars and there's going to be nuts and bolts. Um, since the airline has basically um, made an allowance for these crates when you put extra nuts and bolts in them, it's just that simple. These are hand tightened and um, in order to finish the tightening you're going to need two half inch wrenches. Done. And you just do that all the way around and now you have an airline compliant crate. To have an airline compliant crate you have to have two bowls attached to the door. So when you get a crate from us it comes with everything you need except the dog and a blanket. An airline compliant crate also has to have two, preferably three, secure door latches and our door latches are spring loaded and they're metal and we have a stainless steel hasp. Now the airline will not let you put a lock through here but you can put a bolt through there. So here is my 12 year old East Coast crate with all the airline compliant modifications namely the nuts and the bolts and the side rails. So now we have arrived at our destination and if you want to fold your crate up again, all you have to do is take out the nuts and bolts and take off the side rails and collapse it and I'm going to show you how to do that.
So you take out your eight nuts and bolts, put them back in your bag so you don't lose them. Now we're going to take our little handy screwdriver. We're going to take twist turn to the left to take off the side rails. Let's turn to the left. Put these to the side. Now when I fold up a crate, I personally find it easier to fold it up upside down. So I'm going to turn this crate the other direction. Same thing, you're just going to loosen up these uh, Zeus fasteners. I like to fold the door in first. So I'm not going to take that one all the way open yet. Once you've released the link locks, you can just fold this door in. And then you finish releasing the back. Now these are already short, so we're going to make it long again. We're going to open it up. Put the pressure back on it, tighten it back up, just a twist turn. Okay, so this is your folded up East Coast Crate folding crate. And um, this crate, like I said, has been all over the world. Um, your folding crate, you're going to get a ton of use out of it. Uh, we make folding crates, non-folding crates. We have um, a ton of videos on our website to help you and your dog travel comfortably and safely. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching East Coast Crate. Signing out.